Welcome back everyone to another brand new game on the channel. This one is called Trailmakers, as you can see up in this corner here. I believe this is early access. I didn't really do my research ahead of time. Uh, but it's like a, a vehicle building game. It has some um, survival component. It has creative sandbox options as well. So let me know down in the comment section which of those you'd prefer to see. For this episode, we're doing survival. Uh, just to test the waters and see how things go, get introduced to the game. I imagine there'll be some sort of tutorial in there that'll get me familiar with everything. So let's hop straight into it. kind of uh, uh, Subnautica-esque in this way, like the opening of the game, stranded on a alien planet. I doubt there'll be as much danger, but we'll see how it goes. All right, there's my little dude. I can zoom in and zoom out, move around to B to open build mode, cab is the map. All right, salvage. I assume I have to go collect those all around. Uh, backspace is to respawn. I doubt I can collect anything from here. Uh, Alright, so... There appears to be no sprint option or anything like that. Let's open builder mode. Before you start building, please go through these easy steps. Sure. Drag and place block. 2x4. Rotate the camera, right click. All right, uh, so select it. Click to copy. And then rotate. Okay, I see how this works. Got multiple axes of rotation. Change color. I can make it blue. I'm gonna keep my purple. Other options? Oh, is that like a... Okay, so it's kind of translucent. Interesting. Let's uh, delete. Delete. Alright. Now it's time to build a vehicle. Start with a seat. Uh, with a fortified roll cage. 2x4 block goes there. One goes there. Spot as well. Get a wheel on here. A bulldog engine, which is 333 power. Let's snap all these into place. Steering hinge. Pretty sure that's self-explanatory. Limited angle of rotation for perf uh, perfect for wheels. Great. It even shows A and B are the controls for it. That's cool. Uh, and this is. S and W, so forward and back components. Get the wheels in here. It shows the way they're rotating, which is nice. Save the structure. Um, we're gonna call it Dog because of the name of the engine. Oh, it's a bumper car. Okay. So I don't understand why I need this front section, but I'm sure that'll become clear. So I can rotate, I can do all that fun stuff. I can exit the builder. Calculating vehicle physics, please wait. All right. Okay, so if I cruise around, the camera will gently follow the direction of the vehicle. But if I hold right click, I can move around as I please anywhere I want. 
Dear colleague, if you are hearing this, your cargo vessel has crashed, and you have survived. The corporation will dispatch a rescue ship, but require you to leave the atmosphere of your current planet. Fortunately, your cargo can be repurposed as building blocks. Build a functional spacecraft by salvaging the scattered contents of your cargo. Once you have located a piece of cargo, place it underneath a recovery drone to extract the building block it contains. Sure. Please note that not all building blocks will be suitable for the spacecraft, but they can be used for local transportation purposes. Good luck. Alright. Sounds good. So, much like Subnautica, I have to build a spacecraft to get out of here. So it said I need to push these into this little laser. And it says it's a power core. Don't know what that means, but I'll find out. A little bit of rolling physics, which is nice. This power core is required for your spaceship. Okay. Cool. Uh, so if I enter Builder Power Core, allows more engines, allows stronger engines. Okay, so that means I could add, uh, I guess it would be in blocks, propulsion maybe? Yeah, could add that, and I definitely want to rotate it to line it up with the other one. There we go. So that's perfect. Now I noticed when I was pushing it that it, the salvage started to roll side to side, so I wonder if I can get this on here. I want to rotate it this way and then that way. And then can I just like go like that and copy? Okay, then I just drag it over. Cool, great. So that'll give me like a, a, a fork to work with. Um, just to keep it within the inside of the box. That should do just fine. And exit the builder with B. Oh, not much faster. Look at me go. Zooming all over the place. Took a little jump there, got some air. Oh my god. This is... This is nice. This is quick. I can't imagine having more power cords than this. I wonder if there's like, uh, like a break point for the vehicles. Uh, oh. Okay, so I got a little radar in the bottom left hand corner here, uh, down in like this section here. I uh, wonder if that's saying like how much is within my, like a certain radius. It looks like there's one up there, one over there, lots up here. That might be worth going to get. There should be one right, right next to me. somewhere. Oh, a little more to the right. Was it down this way? It says I'm like right on top of it, right? I wonder maybe if it's up top. I don't know. I do know there were a lot up this way though, so let's go take a look. Alright, there's something. Oh, it's at the edge. Headlight. Oh, okay, so it kind of shows what it is up top. I wonder if I could just push it down. Ah! I didn't mean to go down with it. I mean, totally meant to do that. Nailed it. Haha. -ha. Alright. Uh, let's get up here. And let's push it on over. If I can line it up. The camera doesn't follow as nicely as I'd like it to. I wonder, I'm sure there's a setting for it. I can see another salvage up to the uh, left. Up that way. Yeah, I see it up on that hill, like right above the head of my car. Uh, but I saw there were a bunch more supposedly up top here, so let's go check it out. Zoomy zoom. This feels, I mean, the controls feel pretty good. I'm glad I can change the color of my vehicle and stuff. When I uh, started the game, it gave me the option to change the color of my person. And I, obviously I chose purple, that's kind of my, my theme that I go for. Uh, if you guys have seen my Subnautica videos, you'll know that about me at least. Uh, with Carl and Pablo and Stella all being purple. Just my preference. 
Okay. Rebuild your vehicle to recover the salvage. So if I go like this. Now. I don't want to become too front heavy. So what if I get some frame? I'm gonna put this here, rotate it upwards. Put it there. Um, put another one out. Rotate it this way. Make sure that's attached, all right. And then I wanna take more blocks. I want to kind of get this space uh, a, little, a little more weight on here. So, wish I had some smaller block options. I'll just do that and call it a day. Put a little more weight on the rear to hold it down. Just, just a little bit. That's all I need. Uh, and then hit B. Oh, is this going to be tall enough? I don't know. Oh. Uh, it's not long enough. Okay, it hit, but it wasn't ideal. By any means. And then I push this down this way. Currency? I don't know. I do not know. Let's drive over here. Get this one. Looks like it's gonna require a larger arm. So let's uh, da -da -da -da, rotate this that way. Uh, oh nope, that's not what I want. I want to copy. Rotate this one. And then just make it a little longer. Maybe, oh, uh, ah, alright, uh, let's put that there. So you have a little poke, push it down. So that should help. That way afterwards I can just go down there and get all of them. Um, there should be more behind me too by the looks of it. That's a... Uh, See if I can't. Can I like click and drag? Oh, I can. Um, so let's let's just get rid of that. I can always bring it back. Um, but for now, I don't want it clogging up the screen. There's something else up over here. Okay, so it pauses the game when I go into that view, which is kind of nice. Be like underneath me, more or less like under the mountain kind of thing. I should have more salvage over this way, perhaps. Let's at least check out the area. Oh, a bird! Oh my god, it gives you currency. I guess I'll be hitting every bird I see from now on. So I don't see any more this way. There's a lot more over there, but I'd have to cross that river and those islands and stuff. So. Oh, what is that? Is that a bug holding gold? Or whatever those coins are in this? Okay. Stay on track. I'm not even pushing forward. The hill is doing all this work. Nice to see that it has a good, oh, a good system for that. Murder! <laughs> I shouldn't be this excited. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back. What is this? Medium pontoon. So I can build rotations. Alright, there appears to be another scanner over there. I wonder if there's multiple all over the place. 
Alright, my, uh, my forks aren't gonna help me with this one. Let's just see if I can't guide it. This is like Rocket League now. Another game I'm bad at. <laughs> as you can, oh my god, as you can tell. I gotta tr really try and work on this one. The size of it makes it a little difficult. Alright, now let's get it down the rock. Oh, perfect! Look at that, I'm dribbling like in Rocket League again. And I'm just as bad as it, uh, bad at it as I was in Rocket League. I know, I know, it's over there, right? Get it. How do you? Right, I, can, I have a little bit of steering. Perfect. Medium pontoon. Unlocked. Now let's go up here. Grab the ones I threw down. Ah! I'm gonna miss it. Another power core. Do I even want another power core on this thing? I don't know. There's a power core unlocked. That's always useful. This power core is required for your spaceship. Headlamp, I believe? No, just I don't know where the headlamp is. I'm sure the headlamp will be useful for going in a cave like that. Or maybe there's a nighttime I don't know about. Not too sure. I did just get a piston though, which is nice. I can use that to make a more reasonable uh, poking arm. Something with a little more flexibility. Let's see about uh a new buoyant block. Floats on water. Alright, so I also got this piston. I want to experiment with making that work. So if I put a piston here... Uh, or even... I can bring it back a little bit. Stick it there. Copy it there, just to make it symmetrical. Uh, now this one... Oh, do they only extend or retract? Oh, no, they got both. All right. Is there, like, a configuration option? Oh, yeah, click to configure. Uh, so I want, like, one and two. Actually, I want uh, one to be up and two to be down. Speed, I don't think really matters. Starting position. Uh, we'll start minimum and configure this one to be the same oh no I need this to be two this to be one um and then oh, oh, uh, I have to rotate this way snap it on there configure it to have starting position zero, and this can be on three and four. And then if I copy it, will that hold the configs? Yes, it will. Great. Uh, so that should should work. Uh, let's put a block on here. Rotate it this way. Snap it on there. Yeah, that should be all I need. I might need to do too high uh, if these only go so high. So advanced. Delay speed starting position. So you can do delays and durations and... Oh, toggle? Yeah, I want to... Uh, I want to see how it feels first. Um... If I do that, so it sits down there. If I hit one, oh, I have to hold one. Okay, so I do have to turn it on to toggle, I think. And then three will extend, push something down, and then four will retract, and two will retract. So I want to go back into build mode. Configurations, toggle, toggle. Toggle, toggle. Uh, make them all 
same. And then I want the speed just a bit. Oh my god, that goes so drastically quick. Let's just make it like that, I guess. Can I just put in a value, like 5, just to make sure they're all the same? Uh, let's do that. Alright. So now, if I exit build mode, and I hit 1. Alright, so that's a lot more reasonable. Nice! So I can do extending and retracting and all that fun stuff. That'll help out a lot, I think. Hopefully. Um, anyway, let's... I didn't get a headlamp now, did I? Lights? Oh, I did! Okay, so I already got it. Uh, let's put a headlamp here. Rotate it to face out. And then I wonder if I can't copy, bring it over here. Perfect. So that gives me a couple lights. I actually think I want to bring them back to there. And then I want a couple rear view lights as well. Perfect. That way I have a little, little bit of visibility. Especially for you guys, because God knows YouTube's not going to be very kind to you. Oh, look at that! Much nicer vehicle already. Now let's go check out this cave, since it's going to be dark anyway. Might as well embrace the darkness. So is this just going to be like a through cave? There might be stuff in here, though. Nice little tunnel. Ooh. I see. So this one's near like at an edge. So I have to I have to pull it into me or something. Let's uh let's enter build mode. I have an idea for this now. Um so let's select this and we'll just drag it over there for now. I know it's not attached, but that's okay. Uh, and then we'll come over here and give more pistons, which are in mechanical. Uh, actually, I just want to copy-paste this. That way I have all the same configurations, so it'll extend the same speed and same buttons and all that stuff. And then grab this guy. Drag it back over here. So I don't know if you guys are starting to see my plan. Um, in fact, I can drag this out to there. Uh, copy. Copy. And then drag it all back. Give it a little bit more reach. And then, if I put that here, rotate it. Okay, so it won't stick there, though. It has to stick to the very end of it. So that's okay. Um, let's configure it. To work with, I guess, five and six. Uh, make them toggles, give them a speed of five, starting position of zero, and then copy it, drag it over, and I guess I'll just slap a block on it. Like that. And now these ones I want to reconfigure just to not toggle. And I will give them new controls. So 
something a little special. That way I can work with them individually to adjust the height of this, depending on how high I need it to be. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. So configure this, remove the toggles. I think that was that, and that was that. Uh, that should be good. Now I wanna go back to the configurations of this. I think, I'll keep uh, toggle on that as well. So let's go like this. So we got this little like cage set up now. <clears throat> so if I hit one, and then oh, that didn't like that at all. Oh god, enter build mode. Enter build mode, please. Why didn't it like that? didn't like the slow ascension. Why didn't that work? What was, what, <laughs> what was going on there? Um, oh, oh, I see. Uh, well, that's interesting. I think I just accidentally found a method of propulsion. Um, but it's because I didn't copy the configurations. Uh, maybe I did? Oh, ah, I see. Can I configure them all together? Great. I gave them the wrong buttons. There we go. So that should work. It's because they were conflicting. One was trying to pull, the other one was trying to push. And that just was not working. <laughs> so now, I can get full or personalized extension. So first, extend that, and then extend that, and then both of those. Now if I can just ease my way over. I think my, yeah, my front end is hitting the ground, so that's something I'll have to resolve eventually. There are creatures in the water, which I find interesting. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh god. Okay. Let's see if I can't. Get on land. I don't know how to. The salvage is still up there. Oh god. Uh, can I control Z? I can. Alright, so I need to select the whole shebang. Uh, I said the whole shebang. Drag it over here. Exit build mode. Haha! -ha! I need to get back in here. Alright. Let's try that again, shall we? Nice and easy. Nice and easy. One, hold that. Get the full extension. Three. Just nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy.
right, now let's uh, retract with six, I think it is, no, five. No, nope, that's not it. Uh, four, that's it, nope, okay. So I need to adjust that as well. Ah, bollocks. Try this again. I managed to get back up on land. Now, I think I need to adjust my controls again. That should have it pretty well cracked. Oh, come on! No! Oh! Man! Alright, let me uh, try to get this and I'll uh, come back to you guys. This here. This is a face of defeat. Alright, this is pure defeat. I'm gonna keep trying, but I just pulled it back all the way to here, and then my vehicle flipped over on this little ledge and launched the piece into the ocean, so it reset. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Guys, I don't want to jinx it, but we're doing good. We got it away from the water. That's all that matters at this point. Oh my god, that took way too long. Way too long. All that for a power core, too. Oh, man. Worth it, though, okay? I'm saying it's worth it. Anyway, slide this right in here. wonder if I have to let it free. Nope, alright, so let's go through my vehicle. Sounds good. That's where we're gonna end today's episode. This power core is required for your spaceship. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're feeling spicy, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my content. Uh, every view, every like, it helps out a lot. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see from me, and have a good morning, evening, night, afternoon, uh, bye bye